video music. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's, but we get to fade away into some Arrivals of Aether music. I don't think they've set, they've done the, the milestone uh, code, the, the Konami code in the milestones. So we don't get to hear some of the, uh, we don't get some of the DLC character variants. Sag. That's okay, because we have got these two getting ready to face off. I mean, Akashi. Akashi has proven strong in his own right, of course. Yeah. And it's easy to see how they, how he can walk with this, in the sense that they play a lot more. How do I put this? They play in a lot more of a sense where they're looking for extensions vertically, and thus they are more prone to landing and going with uh, large anti-airs with things like up till up bear that kind of tools. Which I do think works very well, generally speaking, against Rano. Like, exactly. Rano's trying to get a lot going from the air. Yeah. You've seen how much Nair and Fair from Rano, just alone in this top 16. Of course, that requires Rano to be in the air. And lest we not forget that Akashi has clocked in many hours in this matchup, thanks in part to Lucius. So, let's see how it does him well against a different style of frog as Fruit Loops takes to bat for top 8 against Akashi. I think that'll be the main thing that Fruit Whoops needs to both see and avoid him doing, which is the the approaches from a falling aerial straight down. And that was an excellent mix-up. First time he did something like that, it was just a falling nair, got parried, got punished. Second time, throws out needles, falls with an aerial, does a different drift, because that can happen when you mess up some of your vertical tools. You get hit by Absa up air and you die at 10. You just have to stay adaptive in a matchup like this. Right. And, and Rhino does have the fluidity in his kit for you to play differently and adjust accordingly. But that's a pretty tall order against the likes of Absa. Whew. Okay, just going for it. I like it, though. It gets yeah. you under the cloud, first and foremost. Gets you up in Absa's face while she's in, uh, in lag. And then she explodes! Yeah. Touch her, and then she dies. There's a double dash attack into a back air, using those needles to get a couple stacks on. Setting up for a tongue if they c is in the future, but that's a huge parry. Just a f I was going to say just a forward strong punish, but the cloud placement and the maximization of damage off of some of these parries oh! is magnifique. You saw the setup, but didn't get the payoff on the last interaction. Don't worry, Akashi got you. Rather rinse and repeat. It's something so dangerous about control-like characters, which uh, I would definitely say Absa is one of them. Where Certainly. if they're able to set up the same situation that happened before again, but now with more information, they know how to properly approach just about anything if you are willing to lather, rinse, and repeat. The placement of these clouds are so dangerous for Fruit Loops too, but staying on the offensive I think is actually a really good call. This is multiple times now we've seen Fruit Loops just press ahead through the hitboxes, not caring where Cloud is, and being rewarded for that bravery. Percentage-wise, still in dire straits, but I think in the long run, that's a really good habit to maintain and not get shaken from. Yeah, you can't let yourself be deterred in any stretches. That was a super clean air dodge in order to find a falling nair. <gasps> wow. The positioning on the cloud? Just for the sake of throwing off the timing, I mean, Bubble was a great spot for Fruit Loops, and once again! The Bubble placement has been sublime, but can they get out of a dangerous spot? Akashi keeping it simple. Oh, the bomb has been placed. Yo, let me get a fourth bubble save. Yeah. Can we do it? Uh, okay, that, right, right, that right. kind of counts. Let me get a fifth bubble save, but like a cooler one. Oh, he may not need it. Just trying to get... We've, we're back on the ground. One, 142. But is Ooh, it... Oh, oh, the Akashi line. <laughs> how does he... How does he keep getting <laughs> away with it? <laughs> well, that's the misdirection. Like, you forgot about Cloud. You didn't respect it enough, and this is why you've got to respect it at least a little bit. Bam. I guess that's like the danger of a... Ah! ah. Oh, it's Akashi. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Devin, are you are you writing in Mandarin? <laughs> I, I, I messed up hard. <laughs> He's speaking the language of gods. 
That's the language of the production. <laughs> Don't mind my moon speak. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well from moon to earth we go. Forest floor is going to be the setting for game two, and we immediately see a cloud set down and some damage afoot, but Fruit Loops staying a lot more proactive with the needle play. Yeah, it's it's accustomed to how the how the first game went because a lot of the times you would use needle to set up into a uh, into an aerial of some kind, like trying to use it to start his offense. Now he's just trying to make it a little bit more of an active zoning. Try and use it to augment his movement first and foremost. Got to be careful with these bombs, but continuously he manipulates the bubble. But that time he didn't, which allowed him to get by Akashi who is trying to go out there preemptively to hit the bubble movement. Yep. Super clean. And is rewarded. Staying fluid. I like this more proactive play from Fruit Loops, and I think this is what we need to see is the constant adaptation. Man. Like, the shifts in focus from where you want to play this game, I think, is huge. And the fact that, like, we've now adjusted to this very heavy ledge play, I think very fitting, for, in fact, for the counter. Okay. Still trying to back off his Atty. He is... Had a huge amount of stacks going, but man, Akashi finds the parry. I found a bunch of parries at this moment. Akashi being very willing to put themselves in danger, but throw out, uh, throw out that extra parry because it, at a uh, low to mid percents. I think that's just and the curse there. of, of Rano is that damn your buttons are good, but damn you love pressing those buttons. Oh yeah. <laughs> good thing Dan gave us a, a shiny button for that one. Ooh, missing the up air ever so slightly as another up strong goes by the wayside. Ooh, the cloud hit bouncing into the wall. A very messy situation. I don't think Kakashi was expecting that, in fact. All of the needles got absorbed by that forward tilt. That's yeah, so that terrible. Sucks. <laughs> oh, he crouched against the car. Yo! Crouch canceling, fair, balanced, healthy. Look at how. Oh, that was such a good parry. The wave dash forward into parry to get uh, Akashi, uh, get Akashi flinching to press a button. Super clean. Multiple resets on the clouds, and it's all setting up into an up strong finish. Yeah, that this, was cute. This play and mix between Akashi, uh, uh, Akashi sets up cloud at ledge. Fruit Loops goes low and sets up bubble. What happens next? There is now at least five different layers set up because this situation right here can unfold horribly and terribly, but Akashi is still in advantage, and while Fruit Loops can delay the inevitable, they can't escape it forever. That was an amazing chase too, and very unlike Akashi from the typical set play that we've seen. That was that was a very Penguin-esque follow. That was For just, sure. I am mashing these aerials at their sweet spot. Do your best. Whatever you do, I don't care. These back airs are coming though. This follow-up is real. This is what is happening. Ooh, okay. Instant parry misses the back air dash attack. That's unfortunate. The burst Three range of, uh, of Rano is kind of jeopardized by how small Treetop is. Like, yeah. This stage small, and as we've already seen multiple times with various Rano players tonight, uh, like you have to be mindful of that burst range not being at point blank. It's not especially far at all. A ton of poison stacks on the... If he's able to find a... I mean, I was going to say if he's able to find a bubble, but Akashi already manually removing all of them and is playing this matchup to perfection because bubble can save you, but it cannot keep you alive forever. Again, just delaying and sustaining yourself amidst an unmovable wall that Akashi is making themselves out to be. Cloud at ledge. Just devastating, man. So good. Like, you have to deal with so much before you even get to fight Akashi. Yeah. He's... Like, especially on a stage this small, like, the Cloud is just straight up a mini-boss. Ooh, a mini-boss that can recover... It... it uh... A mini boss with ads. Like, there's just so many <laughs> goddamn. So many clouds. So many GD clouds out here as he tries to use the, uh, the bubble to recover high. It saves him from that down strong. But how many times Ooh. can this. Re uh, can we go on? Punish me one more time as Fruit Loops is just still tenacious. Not letting. 
not letting Akashi have his way. That cloud is far out. Yeah, we ducked this time, staying yeah. well aware of the fact that the cloud has been out for a while. Good awareness. <gasps> oh, but not enough in order to set up for a slingshot. Akashi playing very forward in the right moment. When he sees a punish, he goes for it. He's taking the opportunities that are there, but playing neutral in a very... Uh, like with resting on his heels and keeping steady while Fruit Loops is scrambling with his movement. You yeah, know, the last 30 seconds have just been a masterful level of misdirection with where Akashi wants the focus to be, whether it's on Cloud or on Absa. And the movement has been perpetuating this misdirection because Fruit Loops kind of been moving around, not really doing much except moving right on into the blast zone and. Whoo! And the movement was good, and he's immediately ready to talk about what happened, but the movement wasn't per uh, wasn't enough to keep him alive and keep him away from Akashi's just pristine punishes. Sour down air, F-tilt. Goes for forward air, recognizes it wasn't sweet spot, goes immediately into an up air. And that's just... What I want to know is why did stuff. we go to treat Uh Bruce did not look comfortable on that stage, and even uh, though it can facilitate a lot of really strong Rhino combos, and Rhino has like the space to maneuver around Needle Camp where oh, need yeah. be, put the bubble to not die so early. That looked like that was Akashi's pick. <laughs> that was rough to watch.